Hello. All right, so today we're going to be doing a little something with lower thirds. Um, so in here, we're going we're gonna to start it out in Photoshop here. Um, and we want, to, uh, we want to put lower thirds over this image here um, to display something. Um, and so we're going to come down here, go to uh, the HD here. Um, actually, let's go down to 720p. Uh, and that will uh, and that that will be about the same. It'll be the same size as our uh, photo here, uh, our video. You want to make sure that that matches. Otherwise, it'll it'll be all screwed up, or you'll have to resize it, which is not fun. All right. So now here we have this canvas. Um, I'm just going to make a new layer and delete this one. Um, and very faintly, it's hard to see now. But very faintly, they have these little guidelines, and they match up with these little guidelines that we have on our uh, actual literature. So we want to make sure that the lower third appears right here in the lower third of the frame. Uh, how about that? Um, so I like to use uh, rectangles with rounded edges, just because they come across a little better. Um, so we'll start it there, and we'll drag it out. And it kind of snaps for you there, snaps it to the edges. Um, so that way uh, you can use the guides and it just automatically, as long as you have it, um, the snapping turned on, it'll just snap to the guides for you. Um, so we'll do that. We'll layer a few colors. So we'll have like a, a lighter, a slightly lighter blue to kind of come in over that. Why was that not the color? I wanted that color. Stupid thing. Um, and then... Let's make a little circle right here for our main letter or something. It's just a little bit lighter. All right, so there we have uh, we have our what's going to be our lower third here. Just kind of made that up. Um, we're just going to save that. Okie dokie. Thank you. All right, so then we're going to come up here. Just going to import that file. Lower third. All right, and then we're just going to put that on top of here. All right, and so now you can see how it went ahead and it already has it put right where um, we need it because the um, the previous little thing there um, in Photoshop already lined it up, and since we had the same photo size, it sticks it in there right. All right, so now at the beginning of the shot here, I want to decide when I want it to come up. So I want it to come up right here. So let's go ahead and mark that, and then have it go away right, or have it start to go away right here, and have it actually go away right here. So we're going to go here, and it's going to be there. We're going to put a keyframe. And then we're going to go to the beginning of the clip, put another keyframe, and then Pull this bad boy down. I accidentally messed up the straightness of that. Um, and then here, another one there, and another one there, and pull it down again. Well, all right, so now we have this thing, and basically, you can see here, it rises up from the ashes and then rises back down. Okay, something can't rise down, but anyway. Um, and then, so, then after that we want to do, we can put our text over top of it. And do the same thing, then we'll bring it down here. Resize it slightly. And then um, mark those as well. Job of tracking it because it moves slightly, but um, you get the idea. Yeah, I think. 
Um, so basically, when you're finished, you know, here's some other lower thirds I have here um, that I used earlier, um, and it just these ones I didn't animate, but they just you know still act as a lower third. So yeah, that's it.